Skyview 21 today flying over multiple crashes that brought Interstate 83 to a standstill for hours in Dauphin County. One of the three resulted in the death of a man and led to cooking oil being spilled all over the road. Good evening and thank you for joining us at 10. I'm Jasmine Brooks. I'm Joel D. Smith. So 83 has been a target for PennDOT for years, trying to make improvements, including widening that part of the highway. Tonight, CBS 21's Hallie Jacobs is live with what we can expect in that area that can be so dangerous. Jolie Jasmine, this early morning crash did have traffic backed up and until about 6 p.m. Now, as you can see, traffic is running smoothly, but can we expect more accidents like this to happen in the future? I spoke with PennDOT to find out. The initial incident, a tractor trailer hit a disabled vehicle near the 83-283 South split, which caused cooking oil to leak onto the road, closing all lanes and taking hours to clean up. What we had to do was once all the vehicles were removed and any of the debris was removed, put down an oil dry material and it, it adheres to the road and it starts to suck up all that oil. So it's a matter of then sweeping all of that off the road and into containers to haul away. The second incident was a fender bender about a mile back from the original crash with minor injuries reported. The third happened just past the exit for Colonial Park coming south. A car crashed into the back of a tractor trailer and the driver of the car is dead. PennDOT can't say for certain if those wrecks were caused by the first, but officials say they've seen chain reactions like that before. And then we get some secondary ones that occur in the backlog. Most of the time those happen because people are speeding, maybe not paying attention. It's possible that there's impairment. There's a variety of things. Crashes are common in that area as the newer, wider lanes condense near Eisenhower Boulevard. But PennDOT says the bottleneck is even worse on I-83 North near the 17th and 19th Street exits. You've got several lanes that are open and now you're squeezing them down into two lanes. And with as much traffic as we have in that area, and unfortunately people are speeding and they're distracted, that does actually increase the occurrence of crashes. PennDOT says they are working to try and widen the lanes, but won't get to Eisenhower until 2030 at the earliest, instead focusing on I-83 in the area of Cameron Street. But it's a lot more than just saying, hey, we're going to widen this road. There's a lot of planning that goes into it on the front end, a lot of scheduling that happens. PennDOT is inviting the public to give their opinions on the plans for the upcoming projects and add what they would like to see. You can find out more information on when the next public information session is going to be on our website at CBS21.com. Reporting for CBS21 News, I'm Hallie Jacobs.